Good morning, everyone. Right now on Wildberry, it's 8.29 a.m. on Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... Oh! Here's some personal news! I got to video chat with my family back home! Mom and Dad are both great! Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> Isabel, why are you the most precious thing in the world? Oh, this is so cute! Hello everybody and good morning and welcome back to Wildberry Island where apparently our precious announcer has been video chatting with her parents! How freaking sweet is that? Oh my gosh, Isabel, I hope your bullet journal is doing great today. I still need to remember to start one of my own for our wonderful Wildberry adventures. Er, oh dear, I guess that doesn't really qualify as news, does it? Oh, it's news every day, Isabel, that's so precious. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. I wonder if she had to call them to let them know KK Slider visited and had a good time. And she was absolutely ridiculously delighted about that because that was so cute. But hello everyone and good morning and welcome back to the wilds of Wildberry Island. And today I hope you guys have your garden boots on and ready to help me out because we are going to have a fantastic time putting down extremely rare hybrid tulips. Look at all of these. Look at all of these. I did it again, friends. I did it again. Last night, I spent a whole bunch of time tidying up the island, sending off letters to our newest villagers so that we can become friends with them, and selling whatever I could get my hands on on the island so that we could try to finish up the brand new Zen Bridge that we have built over by the special event island, which is just so freaking cool that we were able to do that! We have terraforming powers! Our boots are going to be covered in mud as we dig up all sorts of cliff sides and we dig all of the rivers. I am so ridiculously excited for that um and i thought you know after paying off the zen bridge and patting lloyd on his little helmeted head that i would treat myself to just one special island to end the night and lo and behold that one special island had hybrid tulips dun 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 these are the super rare tulips, which means that they are going to attract our absolutely wonderful peacock butterflies that we love so much. And they're the pink tulip, the orange tulip, and the black tulip. Between the red, the yellow, and the white tulips that we already have, the only tulip that we would be missing after that, my friends, do you know what it would be? I'm really excited, so I have to use the cute little emotions today is the blue tulip. So if we put down two black tulips side by side, they will actually end up becoming blue tulips. And there is some thought amongst the many wonderful gardeners in the Animal Crossing New Horizons community that the only way to get blue tulips seems to be right now if you take black tulips from a mystery island. So these black tulips are basically as rare as it can possibly get because you have to go to a mystery tour, you have to find a hybrid flower island, and you have to find black tulips in order to get the blue tulips. So these are extremely rare. Uh, I don't know if just black tulips that you were able to crossbreed on your own island would count, but they are precious, they are amazing, and we are going to put them in a very special spot on our island to create what I hope will be a wonderful blue tulip garden. So talk about a lucky break to start the day. That is so ridiculously exciting. And that also means that our pockets are full, so we literally cannot do anything else, like check the mail. Uh, well, we can go ahead and see who sent us mail. Hello, hello? Oh, it's a letter from Linksys. Oh, that's so cool. All right, Backlog sent us something. We'll check that out in just a second. Oh, oh these two are talking. Hey, Ursula, you like cooking, right? Do you think you could cook for me sometime? And his little bugs. Huh? Uh, yeah. I'm always coming up with new recipes. That is so cute! I can't believe that he is telling her that, you guys! Alright, why am I so excited about that? Last night, I ran out of storage space in our wildlife research center, and so I grabbed a whole bunch of items, and I sent a whole bunch of items in the mail to everybody, and I had an extra chef's outfit, so on a whim, I sent it to Ursula, and now here she is, wearing the chef's outfit, and ever so, like, paying attention to things Cranston, has now asked her if she likes cooking while she's wearing the chef's outfit. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but that kind of ridiculously adorable detail is so precious. You want to taste test an original? I'm calling it Borscht Wildberry Style. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. What's in it? Okay, I make an applesauce, pour on some borscht, and hit it with bits of chocolate pie. <laughs> Alright, it sounds like she knows how to use our native apples. Holy cow. I haven't made it yet, but I think it's gonna rock. Apples and chocolate pie on borscht? Is that really gonna taste good? No idea, but I figure it's gotta be better than my tableau. <laughs> now that was a disaster. So, you free next Saturday? Sorry, uh, I think I'm gonna be busy, um, hiding from you. Oh, That was so cute! And look at Cranston, he's trying to do his little weightlifting. Oh, I love our villagers, guys. Alright, so we need to figure out where we are going to be putting all of these tulips. I actually want to put the pink tulips somewhat close to us so that we'll be able to access them for the beautiful peacock butterflies that they will possibly bring. Um... And I have a lot of flowers. I'm kind of surprised Isabel hasn't told me, like, look, the villagers can't even run anywhere. There's too many flowers. Hmm, so pink tulips, pink tulips. <gasps> oh, oh dear, it's one of the extremely rare peacock butterflies and I can't catch it right now because we have our pockets full of pink tulips. That is a little bit of irony. I kind of want to put the pink tulips like up along here or like across the river around the campsite because I think that that would be better than leaving like the yellow tulips out. We might dig up those yellow tulips and put pink tulips over there. I gotta think about that. Oh, maybe we could put some pink tulips over here. This is going to end up becoming a new reading nook pretty soon because the beautiful cherry blossom season is over. So we'll put this away and end up creating like a little uh, tiny library reading nook for Sky and Annalisa because they requested that a while ago. Let's see, should I put some pink tulips behind Sheldon's house? Pink is just a very specific color of tulip. I think we'll put some pink tulips like right over here. Oh, I can't pick up that weed. Never mind. Drop it. But maybe we'll put the pink tulips kind of like right along here, but then people might run over them. All right, let's try it out. The worst that happens is that we'll just have to move them later. All right, we'll do like a little, we'll do micro gardens, like we've kind of been doing with the other hybrid plants, where we put like three here, three there, just kind of a, a light scattering of color. Hmm. Not, not the, my favorite spot to put them, but I think that they'll do well there. And maybe we'll put some pink tulips over here by Puddle's house. And we'll move these hyacinths. I love the hyacinths so much. Oh, no! Our shovel! Literally just when we needed our shovel! Our shovel has abandoned us! Oh dear. Well, at least we can kick in these holes. Alright, we'll have to go and get a new shovel. I kind of like the hyacinths better than the tulips, to be completely honest. But we'll leave them there for now. We have to move Ursula's house anyway. Annalisa's inside! Annalisa's always making cool stuff. Is she crafting something? We have to check. I can't believe our, our very first... She's not, but Sheldon is visiting! Oh look, and Annalisa put all of the hyacinths. I sent her a bunch of hyacinths as a gift last night, and I had no idea that she'd actually put them in the most adorable little vase. That is so cool. Sheldon came by to visit too, Gumdrop. Oh, don't mind the mess on my Imperial low table. I got clumsy and spilled something on it earlier, Gumdrop. <laughs> You spilled a moss ball on it, Annalisa. I, I have no problem with moss being all over your table. That is adorable. Sheldon! He just sat down on her chair. That's so cute. Hey, neat. You came by to visit Annalisa, too. Cool, cardio. You up for a little three-on-three -three basketball? Between you, me, and Annalisa, we got a team. We should start practicing. All right, who's got a ball, cardio? All right, he's really cute. Annalisa, do I have anything to give you? Just more flowers. I want to be able to give her something a little more concrete soon. Let's see. I'm so excited to be hosting some of my favorite neighbors here in my own home. What a rare treat. Come drop. Am I overdoing it? I really don't want to sound like I'm desperate or something. No, Annalisa, you're fine. She's really cute, you guys. Though last night, she kind of told me something that I needed to share with you. She told me, I really like to keep the outside of my home clean for guests. That means no weeds or fallen fruit. 
So I feel like she was telling me to clean up the outside of her house and maybe spruce it up a little bit. And I was a little taken aback, but we can totally work on that. Let's see, what about the Abel sisters? Are they tulip people, you think? <gasps> Do you see what is for sale today? Do you see this? It's a little, it's a little scouting uniform. We absolutely have to get that so that we can have, like, Sheldon wear it and we can have little scouts on our island. I love that idea. Also, I don't see the Able Sisters as really, like, tulip people either. Hmm. This is harder than I thought just to find, like, tulip spots. Maybe a few tulips over here? Maybe by... Cranston's house does really well with the white tulips, though. You know what? We need dedicated micro gardens, little community gardens, all throughout our village. And then I won't have any of this, like, hemming and hawing. I will know exactly where they are supposed to go. And we'll be able just to appreciate the garden that we we got. So let's actually put down pink tulips along here. That'll be fun. Just like we're making the micro parks. Like this is... Oh, I put down the, the pathway, by the way. I finished putting down the path to kind of experiment with making this a small garden plot. I kind of like it, but I feel like I need to move the trees, much as Isabel warned me. I think we do have too many trees. So I think today, in taking care of Wildberry, we will be, um, <clears throat> tending to the overabundance of trees that everyone keeps telling me about. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Where else can we put three pink tulips? Maybe right along here? This is actually a good spot for three pink tulips. There we go. Because I don't really have anywhere else to tuck these ones. Just yet. Because we want to keep them close by so that we can water them every day to get more pink tulips to possibly give away to people, which would be really fun. I really love the idea of doing that giveaway like we talked about the other day. Um, but I don't want to keep them... Eh, we'll figure it out. We're basically beginning to look more and more like a wildlife area, and I love it. We should start putting the micro gardens for the flowers all over... Oh wait, I don't need these wood eggs. But we should start putting the micro gardens for the flowers all over the island, of course! I don't know why I didn't think of that. I guess, oh, because we wanted to keep the pink tulips close. We're gonna be putting the orange tulips and the black tulips much further out around the village because I have an idea for the black tulips in particular. First things first though, we need to like craft some new tools. I had to abandon all of my tools in order to be able to um, to take this many flowers home. So I dropped my ladder, I dropped my poleaxe, or my, my, my poleaxe, oh my gosh. I've been reading too many fantasy books today and I I'm, I'm started the Witcher series because I was curious if it was a good series to read. And, oh, oh wait, Puddles looks really happy. I told saw Cranston watching me practice dance moves. That's because Cranston is one of the best, isn't he? Isn't he, Puddles? You think maybe he's my first fan? Okay, that's really cute. I love it when you catch them being super happy. All right, let's go ahead and craft some things. But yeah, I've started reading the Witcher books in order to just get some good fantasy into my life because I chew through fantasy books really quickly and I have missed them. And I just thought I'd give that one a little bit of a, a little bit of a try, just to see what it has. So if I start suddenly talking about elves and pole axes, I apologize. That's where it's coming from. But all right, so let's carry on. I literally have no tools, so I won't be able to leap across. Let's see. I didn't take my slingshot, so I don't need to worry about that. And we need soft wood in order to get the ladder, and we need to have more tree branches and some iron nuggets in order to work with the net. Ah, but don't worry guys because Wildberry Island giveth what we need if we just set ourselves up to take care of it. We'll lean against this tree, I'm getting good iron. It's so weird not to see any, <laughs> not to see any eggs pop out of those rocks now. That's plenty of iron for our needs. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, conveniently located rock. Oh, I love this. Look at how cool our little garden looks. I don't think we'll keep it dedicated to Bunny Day very long, though. I was actually thinking we could do a fun community poll 
on our Twitter and on our Instagram and on our community page here on our YouTube channel where we could vote what some of the special events should be and what we should dedicate certain gardens to. Because for instance, I would really love to dedicate a garden to the bamboo, the special bamboo items that you can craft while the young spring bamboo is still here. And I was thinking it'd be really fun to focus on one of our villagers and let them be able to decorate some of the small parks we have. Like maybe Cranston could have a bug show and we can make a bunch of bug nets to give to people as their gift of the day. And then maybe Octavian could have a spot where he has, uh, where he shows off a whole bunch of his specialties for space. And I want to work with you guys on being able to build up those stories. I really think the more you invest in the villagers, the more you really get out of building such fantastic adventures on your New Horizons experience. There we go. I don't see a lot of people investing in their villagers, which is why I mention it. It's totally worth it, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get some wood. In fact, we might go ahead and get my big ax. And whilst we are looking for some wood and places to put down our tulip tree, our tulip plants, we'll go ahead and maybe cut down a few trees. <laughs> Even though that's really hard for me. But I know that the cedar trees, I'm comfortable with giving the chop chop. Just for now. There we go. But yeah, I'd be comfortable giving the chop chop to the cedar trees. Whoops. Okay, drop it. I guess we have enough of that type of wood. I need more soft wood, huh? Alright. And I do have a big axe actually in the house. So we'll go ahead and go in the house and grab that. And we can grab the softwood that's in the house. Oh yeah, in the house! You guys, last night I went and to be able to pay off the Zen Bridge, I took all of the apples, about 400 apples out of our storage and took it to uh, Chips and I's home island on his switch because I ran out of space. Sahara was visiting home island and look at the things I got! Mangrove wall! Look at this mangrove wall! Isn't it perfect? And look at the floor! Mossy garden floor! I love it! It is so freaking perfect. I cannot wait to decorate this area. When you walk on the rocks, it sounds like walking on rocks. When you walk on the moss, it sounds like walking on moss. It's amazing. We're definitely going to have to tidy up the house at some point in the near future. But yeah, we're, we're constantly almost out of storage space, which is why I did it. Uh, and there's our axe. So can I grab that axe? Do I have anything I can leave behind? The clay we can go ahead and put in storage. Oh, and then we can put in storage like this clump of weeds. And do I need the iron nugget? I do not think I need the iron nugget. So we can go ahead and put that away too. All right, and let's grab this ax because we might actually give some, actually give some of the trees the chop chop today since we are doing garden duties for Wildberry. I should probably go grab those seeds I had in there too. Do I have enough room? I do. We have many amazing recipes that actually require gathering fresh blossoms from our flowers. And I think I learned a new one last night. White cosmos, yellow cosmos, there we go. So we want to have gardens not only because they're beautiful and I love plants and they attract some of the fantastic insects, but also, my friends, because they let you build amazing things! Like so. Let's come into the DIY recipes. Uh, oh, last night I learned how to make a rocking horse. Uh, I also learned how to make this bas this little basket pack that you can make out of young spring bamboo. <gasps> we should go ahead and craft that for our current outfit because I don't have anything for our gardener. Oh, Sky! What is it, Sky? How do you like to play a treasure hunting game with me right now? <gasps> I will drop everything to play a treasure hunting game with you, Sky, and I love how she's wearing the beautiful visiting kimono we gave her. Sounds fun! Great! I'll go look for a spot on the island where I can bury the treasure! <gasps> where? I'll explain the rules. Okay, so I buried a treasure somewhere on the island. You need to dig it up before the time runs out. I buried it outside, so no need to search inside any buildings. Let's get going, Airmail! <gasps> a 
treasure hunt with Sky and we only have three minutes? Drop! 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 Let's do this, guys! This is so cute! I can't believe this! Alright, we've got to find things. Why can I not run on our own island? We need to make running paths. Okay, I don't think she would have buried it on the beach because I've never seen an item on the beach. Did she bury it on, ta-da, special event island that we can now reach by bridge, which is fantastic, ta-da. We'll deal with that more in the future. Go, 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 go. Search along here. Oh my gosh, Sky buried something for us. I really hope we're not missing any of the spots because of trees. I don't think so. Zahara, what the heck? We found Sahara! Sahara is visiting! This is not a drill! Okay, go, 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 go. Oh no, a whole minute has already gone by. There's the DIY bottle. That's great. We'll come back for it later. Alright, we checked the, the furthest away outlying areas. That would be the most tricky and difficult to reach. There's something up there! I don't have a ladder! We haven't crafted a ladder yet! Okay, there is something up here, though. All right, you know what? If we run through some flowers today, they're casualties of... <gasps> we found it! We did it, you guys! Hey, Sahara! That's so exciting! I can't believe we did that! Here, we'll go ahead and plant some of these orange tulips uh, over here as a little memorial to the moment when we were able to find Sky's treasure. Which is totally not suiting because, you know, she should have something that's blue. But still. Alright. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and head back. Here, we'll plant a few more tulips somewhere over here. I like the idea of just kind of scattering a few tulips, like, unexpectedly. We're gonna save the black ones to make a specialized, um, and maybe a few more tulips over here. Why not? We can always move the orange tulips if we decide we want something else for spring. There we go. Excellent. And then maybe one more little patch down here? Why not? Again, we can always move them later. The important thing is to get them down. We're saving the black tulips so I can make a garden to get blue tulips and for our survival course, which I will tell you guys about in a little bit. All right. Oi. Can I catch that guy? Let's try. Ah, oh, no. Wait, I think he went into the corner. Ah! Ah, fine. No luck there. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Oh, the rare moth! The Madagascan moth that I'm extremely obsessed with and one of the many beautiful butterflies I want Flick to give us a commission of. There we go. I'm very happy about that. All right, Sky, you wonderful, wonderful, wonderful wolf you. I did it, Sky. I knew you'd find the airmail. If you let me have it, I'll open it up for you. Oh, cool. So you have to bring it back to her anyway. This is the moment of truth. What do you think is in here? A jockey's helmet. Congratulations. It's all yours now. <laughs> Thank you, Sky. Hope you had as much fun as I did, Siri. That was precious. We did a treasure hunt with Sky. Oh, I want to take a picture with her. And now she's like, I gotta eat my sandwich and celebrate Bunny Day. Oh my goodness. Also, I heard you. Okay, slingshot, guys. We've gotta go get it. Also, we planted a bunch of things so I can pick these up. Hey, Cranston! Pardon me, everybody. Oh, everyone's all greeting each other. Did you hear that? Look, and now we can actually run across this bridge. I know that was unceremonious as we dashed across on the treasure hunt, but here is the completed Zen Bridge. I really like how it looks. I think that I would have been very happy if we had just gone with the stone bridge as well, but the Zen Bridge adds an extra touch of elegance that I think our special event island will really benefit from. All right, let's go ahead and get this present. I love this spot. It's really interesting because every time we have to like cut down and move trees, I always get sad. But in the end, like it, I'm happy with what happens. Folding floor lamp. Pardon? Oh! Huh. 
I'm sure that'll have a lot of uses in the future. And let's go ahead and see what the jockey's helmet looks like. It's green! <laughs> she knows me so well! I won't keep it, but I think that it'd be cute to give to Cranston. Alright, we'll wear a little straw hat. That was fun, guys. I had no idea that you could do treasure hunts, so that was just a delightful surprise all around. Let's put down another pink hyacinth. Okay, not right there. That is not where I wanted the pink hyacinth to go, but I think the bridge is saying there's nowhere else to put it, so it's that or nothing. Understood. Uh, let's put the pink hyacinth back here, then. Maybe a little pink and white hyacinth in this back corner. And then we're going to find a place to put the orange tulips and now the black tulips. And we'll plant these white cosmos and yellow cosmos. So the cosmos actually might be really fun to have like a few of them over here. So we're going to plant one, just a little cluster of them in different colors. And then we'll give them a little water. The tiny ones, when they're new like this, I don't think need any tending. But come on, we gotta be we gotta be taking good care of our plants. Alright, and then we wanna come over here. One day if we have a lot of excess hybrid flowers, it'd be really fun to be able to give them to everybody as gifts. Well maybe not everybody, I don't think I'd have that many, but we could do like a fun little raffle or something. All right, we'll water these ones, excellent. And then now we're gonna have some cosmos there. And we're gonna have, hmm, I wanna put something over here. This would be really a cute spot to put some flowers. And maybe some cosmos over here? That might be kind of fun, just a couple. So that they've got a few spots and another yellow one, I think. And we want to have lots of cosmos because, as I was mentioning before I got a little distracted by our adorable sky, I do have a lot of flowers, like the cosmos crown, where we want to be gathering up all of those actual flowers in order to create really beautiful DIY projects. By the way, I think I told you guys Sky taught me the classic library wall, so we need to order even more books so that we'll be able to make the classic library wall and have a library in the Wildlife Research Center. And last night, not only did I learn the cherry speakers from Puddles, that was amazing, Puddles taught me the cherry speakers. So excited to be able to make the special fruit items. But when I went over to Chips and I's home island, his favorite villager, Puck, the little penguin who is precious beyond words, taught me how to make the orange wall mounted clock. How freaking cool is that? So we have a lot of different uh, fruit items we can make now. And Ursula last night taught me how to make the shell partition so we can have a special seashell area too. Like, how do they know? I love the wild, wild items. It's just so much fun. All right, let's see. I think we'll go ahead and plant the last of the cosmos over here and we'll pick up these weeds and we'll make like a tiny little cosmos garden sort of at the edge of the riverbed. We can always move the flowers around later if we need. There we go, plant another one, and one more. Excellent, and hopefully that'll spread however it wants to spread. Because this side of the island, all parts that are not the uh, southeast, or west, pardon me, are supposed to be extremely wild locations and wildberry, where you, you don't really know what you're going to stumble upon. All right, let's get a few of these tulips down. Excellent. Good luck, little tulips. May you spread and prosper. And we'll add in paths, we'll add in more ramps, we'll redecorate and make like all sorts of fun little spots here eventually. But for now, we are down to only the black tulips, and I shall show you part of my master plan. We must keep at least three or four of the black tulips. And you know what, let's move these while we're here. I've been meaning to move these hyacinths over so I don't run them down. All right, you guys need to calm down. There we go. And if you could please relocate yourselves over here for now, you're more than welcome to make some pink hyacinths. I would appreciate that. 
but just get out of the way so I don't run you down when I'm going up and down. Also, this is actually a tree that we can take down. This cedar tree. There we go. And I don't- I'm not too worried about that because we want- we want this path open. And cedar trees, I don't think, will produce anything that we really need until winter, though they might attract stag beetles and things like that in the summer. So don't worry, friends. We'll break back out the gardening boots and get some cedar trees down in the future. Also, I think, like, the Nook Miles were excited- yeah, if I cut down a tree. <laughs> They're like, fine, like, this place has too many trees! Oh, and we'll get some extra money if we actually sell some weeds, so we'll grab some extra weeds. What the heck? Don't tell me to cut down a tree and then tell me to plant a tree thing. That's ridiculous. All right, let's move this cedar tree too. There we go. All right, and I'll go ahead and leave that stump just for a little bit. Because it might attract some special bugs. We can pick some of these weeds. And now we're getting to the back of this part of the island. And this is the spot over here that I was thinking we could do something fun. We could go ahead, fun I say as I hold an axe threateningly, but we could go ahead and put down a bunch of black tulips, hopefully find a ton of really cool DIY recipes that we could sprinkle around here, like maybe a little bonfire, maybe some of the tiki torches. We could put down some of the log stakes and the log stools, uh, maybe put a little sign with a tarantula on it, and between that, maybe some garden rocks and other items to kind of spruce the area up, we could go ahead and make a little survival zone where Sheldon the squirrel could come over when he wants to do his survival training. That is my thought. I want to do some survival training with Sheldon and make it so that he can come back here and we could have a little alcove where he could have to deal with tarantulas. And we could put a few of them down uh, with some spiders and other things over here and basically kind of have like a creepy crawly museum slash survival training zone just for a while and especially for Sheldon. And of course, as you guys know, it would also be an educational center because we would appreciate the scary things like wasps and spiders and bees. People are afraid of bees, but do you see that little pollen pants bee? She is doing really hard work taking care of all of the flowers and keeping us fed with oranges. I wouldn't be able to eat my oranges if I didn't have bees. So it would also be an educational zone to teach people that even though, you know, the centipedes and things like that could be very scary, they're really not and they're important parts of the ecosystem. So that's my plan. Let's go ahead and shape some cliffs. Yes, yes. All right, let's do this. So cute. All right, so now we'll go ahead and take down some cliffs. That is so cool. You can just chomp chomp through the side of the mountain. There we go. And we can eventually add these cliffs back in. And in fact, I don't want to remove all the cliffs because I want to go ahead and add cliffs at the back. Maybe not at the very back. Yeah, actually, let's go to the very back so that we utilize as much room as we possibly can. All right. Oh, does it not want you to go to the very back? All right, so that's about as far back as you can go. Totally fine. And then we'll make this little spot back here. Maybe I can move this tree or cut it down. Uh, and then we can put in maybe another little alcove here. Dangerous to modify that cliff because the tree might fall. <laughs> Noted. All right, so what about maybe a little bit more right in here? And then add a cliff right here. Nice! All right, look how fun this is! Oh, this is so cool! Okay, let's actually cut down some of these trees. I know that's really weird to hear me say, but I can't see. And Isabel did say that the villagers were talking about having less trees because they get lost and they were worried they're going to miss their favorite TV show. All right, there's that. I wonder if having different types of tree trunks brings different bugs. 
that's an experiment we'll have to try out in the future. We'll plug these up. There we go. This is so amazing. I can't believe I just thought, let's make a cliff alcove with a cliff side and we can just get in here and, oh, we can't build the cliff around the tree. If I had some fruit, I would move you, friend, but alas, I do not right now. We'll, we'll plant a couple cedar trees up here in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and dig that guy up. Excellent, excellent. I thought I heard a balloon. I had, had like complete silence as Siri hears the balloon. There we go. All right, this is good. This is kind of what I want right here. And we want to make it look a little bit more natural than a box, like a boxy cliff like this. So I'll move a few things around. However, and in fact, maybe we can do it like this. We'll come all the way over to this point. There we go. And then you kind of add in like a couple spots where you're like, oh, there's that. And maybe we can make it so you can walk through here to you. Nice. Okay, the tree is in the way, but that's fine. And... There we go. I'm hoping that... How do you make the curve? I need to figure out how to make this like nice little curve. I'm not sure how, but I'm sure it will eventually get there. And then we can like round these edges off. Uh, and now you have... Ooh, maybe you, we could make it so you're actually blocked this way. And you have to go through the survival course! I love it! In order to... In order to get to the other side, you have to go through the survival course. There we go. Do I want to do this one? Nah, we'll do something else to be able to invite people in. Ta-da! So that is what will happen to encourage the villagers to come over to the little survival area. Actually take it. Oh, that's how you do it! Nice! Okay, I like that. All right, all right. So that's how you make a nice curve. Pretty cool. I'll actually put a curve here. So you want to line it up just so I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, so now we have a cool little survival zone. You guys, how amazing is this? We literally just sculpted our island. That's so awesome! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it! And now we'll put down some tables, we'll put down some, like a little like bonfire in the center to always remember that day when I was just huddled around the bonfire with Sheldon and we were doing our best to defend ourselves from all of the terrifying tarantulas. Which I actually think tarantulas are really cool. I'm just playing it up to say that they're terrifying. Because again, we have to really be responsible and know that it's very important to treat all of the creatures with respect. Uh, all right, we'll put those there and have a sip of tea. Hmm. Yes, yes. All right, we'll put some of the other ones down here. How fun! See what I mean? It's just so exciting to have to come up with ways to fix the unexpected things that happen. I didn't expect to stumble upon a whole bunch of amazing like hybrid plants last night and I had to figure out really quickly how are we going to be able to display these on our island and also work, whoops did not mean to pick that, and also work to like make a little garden for them, bring these precious hybrids back, and this is the solution that I came up with and I'm really happy with it. All right, we're gonna actually probably sell these extra hyacinths, which I know sounds ridiculous, but we have so many hyacinths. <laughs> I, I guess I could put them down, but we just have so many, you guys, so many. I wanna expand the path a little bit. No, 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 I wanted a cliff there. And we'll go ahead and put one more right here. And then, over here and then chop nope 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 chop choppy nice all right 
So now we need to go make a ladder and we're gonna climb up here and we'll put more of the precious black tulips up top. This is so much fun! And now, oh, we also need to make it so that villagers can get across this river because there is currently no way for them to be able to cross this river. That's a little bit of a problem. Um, I think I want them to cross down here or should they cross up closer to the waterfall? Hmm, I think over here. I think over here would be, I don't have a pole vault. I don't have a pole vault, I'm stuck on my own island. <laughs> but I do wanna put in another ladder over on this side for sure. Oh my gosh, all right guys, this is really exciting. And then the villagers, oh, maybe I will go ahead. If they don't wanna go through the scary spot, I won't make them. Some people are really arachnophobic, so we'll do that. <laughs> there we go. All right, and I'm gonna leave this cliff solid, like instead of edge, like a little curve, so that we can hopefully encourage more flowers to come down. But I am actually, oh, that bug was so cool. I wish I had tried to catch it. I can't believe how much we can change about Wildberry now that we have the powers of terraforming. And there's little micro gardens everywhere now. Oh, and I see peacock butterflies frolicking all over the place. Look at this, this is just, oh. I'm so happy! Alright, let's go ahead and catch you. Come here, friend. Excellent, excellent. Oh, and then we need to keep at least three of the black tu uh, tulips around here so that we can take care of them and water them every day in hopes of growing a garden. So I think we'll go ahead and keep the black tulips like... Mm, I need them in like a little specialized garden spot. So far, I've just left this koi fish here, is that? <laughs> um, huh. But maybe I should put the black tulips like right here, here, and here. One, two, and then three. Oh, I hear a balloon. Hang on, guys. I see it! I don't have the pole vault yet! <laughs> We need to create the pole vault in the ladder really fast so that we can go ahead and get there. But we have changed so much about the island. I am so happy with this. This really is just the beginning. We have now seen our precious sky doing a treasure hunt with us, which was amazing. We're going to make a little survival course for Sheldon, which is also amazing. And Sheldon and Annalisa were visiting. And we can finally actually talk to Annalisa and give her gifts, which is really fun. And fun fact, guys, I do have Annalisa's Amiibo card. So we will be able to go ahead and let Annalisa visit, uh oh, is it, oh, there it is, oh, thank goodness. We will be able to go ahead and allow Annalisa to come and go. She doesn't have to stay here forever. I, I actually think she was mostly just here for cherry blossom season and her parents want her to return because she talks about her parents all the time, which is ridiculously adorable. But her parents want her to return for the essential business that she tends to, whatever it may be. And so we can have Annalisa leave, but then come back because I have her amiibo card. Thank goodness. All right, 5,000 bells, not bad. And we've got just a few black tulips left to put away. Very happy about that. And we can set a little goal to try to get all of the bugs that people would consider the creepy crawlies. So we can have our creepy crawly corner. That really rolls off the tongue excellently, doesn't it? All right, let's jump up. And we can even decorate the top of the cliffs with like creepy crawly vibes. I love it. All right, we'll plant this here, plant this here, and then we'll do one more over here. And then we'll do one over here. Excellent. And this is gonna be a little tricky until we get some sort of incline that can go up here to be able to remember to come up and water them. But we will need to water these black tulips so that hopefully they will produce the rare and the beautiful. Dun dun dun. Blue tulips. All right, did that water all of them? Not this back corner one. So it's tricky to try to make sure you're standing in the right spot. 
All right, and we'll take away that little branch. Excellent, you guys. I am so happy with how this has all turned out. We have a new little garden for our black tulips. Huzzah! And we definitely need to work more on tidying up and cleaning up many more of our other gardens. <laughs> but we will get there. And I do think that this would actually be a great location to put a bridge. Can I jump across? Yeah, I can. So let's actually wrap up today by going and talking to Tom Nook. And I think that a normal log bridge, because this is supposed to be a really wild area, would be just fine to be able to put down up here. Whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So let's go talk to Tom Nook and see if we can just get ourselves uh, a nice log bridge. Doesn't have to be fancy. To put right there. All right, and we'll go ahead and jump over. Yeah, what an awesome day. I'm so happy we were able to do everything. And oh, look at those. Oh, that's so cool. I love seeing those black tulips. Also, what do we have from, oh yeah, a wedding congratulations on behalf of Ziva. Congratulations on you and Chips. Found this while gathering peaches and thought of you. I hope it brings you joy. Thanks for getting me through so much with your stories. Oh, Ziva, thank you. Let me go ahead and open that up and see what's going on. A little wedding gift. I can't believe I'm married. Like, I remember that. A sea globe! That sounds so cool! Oh my gosh, that is amazing. <gasps> Look at this! This is so fine! I want to put it on the beach as a decoration. Oh, we have so much to do. Oh my gosh! Oh, this makes me so mad! My buddy back home was feeling down, so I told Annalisa I was gonna go visit. And she was just like, don't bother, just leave him alone. Are you kidding me? My buddy's sitting there in tears with the lights off and an empty tub of ice cream. And she doesn't think I should do anything? What kind of heartless jerk does she take me for? How uncalled for? Exactly! I'm glad you get it, Siri. Supporting your friends is hard sometimes. Though I can't say I've never gone through a time where I wanted to shut out the world. If my pal says leave him alone, I wouldn't like it, but that's what I'll do, for now at least. Oh, Annalisa! You were- you were just saying... Uh, you were just saying that, like, okay, now Annalisa and Ursula seem to have made up. So Ursula, I think, was trying to tell her, don't bother your friend. They're talking again! Well, they say they want to be left alone. Also, Cranston, you smelled some- some coffee- Cranston's hungry! He's asking everybody what they're making. And Cranston smelled some coffee cake outside of Sky's place. It's true that I was in the kitchen yesterday. I'm impressed that you could tell it was coffee cake. My nose is the best one there is. It smells everything, and my mom says it's real handsome. Cranston, I love you! So yes, yeah, sniffing out some coffee cake is easy. Cranston, I expect no less from you, so I took extra care with the toppings this time. With a little work, it came out looking as good as it tastes. Presentation is important, after all. Is that why they say they taste... Uh, th they say things taste pretty good? Pretty is nice, uh, but all I need is some good taste. What? Nonsense, Cranston. A dish's appearance is half the experience. I love you, Sky. Good looks won't fill me up. Just make it normal so I can eat it sooner. Cranston. No one appreciates the artistic side of culinary arts. That was so cute. And these two are talking and sweeping together again, too, you guys. I love when they all get along. That's so fantastic. All right. Wow. Happy, happy morning once again. Tom Nook, do you have, oh dear, Tom Nook? Okay, so let's grab the bridge from Tom Nook really quickly. Very happy with how this has all turned out. I really want to visit with Kitty and I want to be able, oh, we need to hold the ceremony for like our new everything, but I guess that might have to be saved for potentially having a double daily later, guys, because there's just so much that we need to do on the island. All right, let's go ahead and pick a bridge. I, I really think just the plain log bridge would be perfect this time. There we go. Yeah, there's just absolutely so much that we need to do on the island, and I'm really happy that we were able to get our little survival course started, and that we have 
just all of those hybrid flowers, which is so much fun. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and seeing all of the adorable drama amongst our adorable villagers. I love them so, so, so much. I'm going to go ahead and just take a really quick peek. Oh, Puddles is outside of the museum. How cute. And Kitty's in her house. And we will wrap up today by seeing what Kitty's interior of her home looks like. Dun, dun. Oh my! It's extremely formal. I think she teaches piano. Also, she has the nurse's cap I just sent her in the mail last night. That's really cute. So, uh, I guess headcanon is that she does a little bit of, like, first aid and helps out with some nursing, but primarily she is a pianist. Taking a break from the, the hard life that she lives uh, and relaxing to gather some inspiration in Wildberry. I'm so very happy you stopped by, bro. Well, it seems I'm free next weekend after all. Someone who shall rename Nameless canceled our plans. What do you do when you suddenly have free times on your hands, Siri? I make other plans, I get housework done, I retreat to the couch, I make other plans. No sense crying over canceled plans, you say? Well, bravo, I like your attitude. Why waste a single second on what might have been when you can focus on what will be? Wise words, Kitty. I could learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> oh, I wonder if someone, like, agreed to come to Wildberry with her and then they dip set. Hmm. Hmm. All right, that's kind of fun. I wonder how long she'll stay as a result then. But all right, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for following along on all of our adventures here on Wildberry. Today was particularly a wild day. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am looking forward to sharing more of them with you. If you guys could, do please leave a like for... Let's see if this is going to work. Yes! All right. This is the spot. Perfect. Do please leave a like for our expanding, thriving wild village. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.